and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I've been in the news there, getting my papers all sorted. Um, my name's Rebecca and I blog over at uh, aaublog.com um, and today I've got uh, a little bit of a different video today just kind of to talk about sleep. Um, I don't know, sleep when you're a parent can seem, I don't know, a bit like an oxymoron or getting good sleep can be a bit, a bit of an oxymoron um, because kids wake up, they get sick, they wake you up, um, come in early. Uh, so having a good routine of sleep when you're a parent is really important because if I know if I'm up quite late in the night, um, I know that I'm going to be woken up quite early in the morning. So, it, and then I'm just in a bad mood and feel tired. So it just doesn't get things off to a good start. It's really important to get a good night's sleep um, because it's even been shown, like medically shown, that you can get quite ill or different health problems and things if you continually have less than six hours sleep a night. And for me, I've always been a, someone who loves sleep. Um, I'm definitely probably a bit more of a morning person than a night person. Uh, but yeah, I do love my sleep. Um, I have been challenged by Bed Guru uh, for the next 30 days to sort of track my sleep with a sleep diary. I'll start, I can probably can't really read it, but anyway, I've got my sleep diary here. And basically it is to monitor my sleep, see how things go and to make sure and do take steps to make sure that I uh, am getting better and more quality sleep. So to start off with, um, I've been one week in the challenge and before I started, I did this um, pre-challenge evaluation that's written on the form. Uh, and it says like, what time do I go to sleep, which is normally about 11 p.m. It depends what's going on. Um, similar on the weekend, like I say, I'm not much of a, someone that sort of stays up very late. Um, I try to aim for about seven hours, uh, seven or eight hours of sleep a night because I get up usually just a bit before seven. Generally, I'm quite a good sleeper in that I can just uh, hit the pillow and fall asleep and then generally won't wake up quite a deep sleeper. But sometimes, uh, especially lately, I don't even know why, I'm having a bit more disturbed sleep, so it'd be interesting to monitor and track it. So, some of the changes that I've been making are to not have be on um, my laptop or on my phone uh, at least an hour before I go to bed because working as a freelancer and juggling family life and all different things, the, the flexibility is great and it means that I can do some work late into the evening when the kids are in bed and if I have got something to do in the day and I can just push work to the evening and that's fine. But I would be sort of typing away until right when I go to bed, I'd close my laptop and then it'd just be, right, go up, get washed, brush teeth, go to bed, right after being on my computer for about three or four hours straight. And yeah, it's just not good. I noticed when I am doing that, working late into the night and then just going straight to bed, that it really takes me a while. And I think it's, it's obviously just because I haven't had any wind down time to relax and stuff. So that's been something I have I've done all this week is to allow myself time. So even some of the times I have still having to be working in the, in the evenings, but I've made a point of you know, finishing at a certain time, uh, closing the laptop, putting my phone away, and then just reading a book, watching television, or just sort of chilling out. Um, I have a bath or something like that before going to bed. And it's really helped um, because one of the questions on the sleep diary is sort of your overall mood. And I've noticed like here, the first day I did it, I only got about six hours sleep and it was some sleep that was slightly disturbed. I woke up feeling sleepy and my overall mood was being stressed. Fast forward to a couple of days later when I got eight hours sleep, uh, my sleep quality was 10. I woke up feeling fine uh, and my overall mood today in one word was good. So like it really does make a difference um, the amount of sleep that you get to your overall mood and feeling and the quality of your sleep that you get I think as well is so important because you can feel even if you're in bed for like eight hours if it's really really broken sleep it's just gonna feel awful it'd be like having a newborn again. 
so I'm really interested to see how the challenge goes for the next three weeks that I've got left of it. I've really enjoyed it so far and making changes really does make a difference. Switching off phones and computers right before going to bed is important as well as having a bit of a wind down and I have really felt the difference. So I have been really enjoying this challenge. I'm interested to fill in the rest of my sleep diary, see how it all goes over the next three weeks and hopefully make some positive changes to make sure that my sleep is better for the long term. So it'd be great to hear what kind of things help you with your sleep or if uh, you want any tips and advice of the things that I've been doing, I'll be posting on my social media channels and I'll leave all of the links to those below. Um, but yeah, get in touch, let me know what you think and I'll be back with an update after two weeks uh, of the challenge soon. All right, thanks for watching, bye.